Hey, uh, Carl. Uh, yeah, we're back here. Of course, uh, attendees sort of spilling out during a break uh, in the festivities. Uh, we're going to be speaking, by the way, later on to uh, Jennifer Witz, the CEO of Sirius. Of course, this day also brings my annual uh, interview with uh, John Malone, the Liberty Media chairman. Uh, and, uh, you know, one thing we focused on, and we've obviously seen weakness in so many different uh, companies who are at least related in some way to the ad market. Uh, and I did ask Malone uh, what his thoughts were as we head into 2023, given the various perspectives he has both here in the United States and even overseas with his ownership of Liberty Global, a connectivity provider in markets across Europe. How does he see the ad market next year? Well, what I hear is that, that uh, we're definitely going into a very slow, uh, dramatically slower ad market. Uh, as as uh, people are anticipating the future uh, and starting to cut back on on their ad budgets, so I do think we're going to see definitely, I, I, whether you call it a recession or a slowdown, there's definitely going to be a slowdown in the ad market and uh, across the board. Really, that'll be everybody from the new streamers to the traditional linear stuff. Yeah, and Carl, typically we think of more of the linear media companies, so to speak. But these days, as you well know, with Netflix and Disney adding ad-supported tiers to their direct-to-consumer businesses, that also could be a pressure point for them if, in fact, there is a belief that ad dollars overall are starting to come down in terms of spending. And we're seeing weakness across the board in many of those companies' stocks. Back to you. Uh, certainly uh, ratifies what Zaslav said about the ad market a couple of days ago, David. Uh, pretty remarkable, even compared to what happened uh, after COVID. Uh, we'll talk to you in a bit, uh, David Faber.